Welcome to the Little League Softball Regionals on ESPN, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. It is certainly a sun-kissed afternoon in Whitestown. Temperatures in the low 80s. Gorgeous weather for a showdown in the winner's bracket between Johnston, Iowa Little League and Floyd's Knobs Little League. The champions of Indiana. Came a state championship win over Davis County, a team that had beaten them earlier in state. First. On a sacrifice fly. Scott three call. Back to back touch on tuck outs for Riley Mercer. And Dave Bogey is coaching at first. Michelle McNurtney is the bench coach. And around five pitches. Or how keeps the inning alive for Iowa. Time during the course of the tournament. Iowa with a terrific pitching staff. Another off-speed pitch. And for Bradley Mercer. Back to the pitcher and Ruby. Out. Close play. And her dad, who is the third base coach, she skies one toward right field. Into the sun. And a tough play, but a nice play. Made by the right fielder Delaney Hunt, two outs by Zionsville. Toward third base, that's a fair ball. One, two, three for Indiana in the first. Off the throw by Tyler Tanai. Next, the extra hitter, as there are a few of Iowa extra hitters here. Four strikeouts now for Miss Mercer. One out in the Iowa. One with one out in the Iowa second. And now aboard. Second walk of the game from Bradley Mercer. The dog in the house, and of course, they do that. The daughter will say, I'll take care of him. Don't worry about that, Mom and Dad. Two outs in the second. Madison, part of this team. Let's do the one-two pitch again from Riley Mercer, trying to strike out the side. He's done it twice today. Iowa leaves one to the bottom of the second. We go. Well done, Ruby. Top pitcher on the team. Be 13 on August the 10th. Stands five feet ten. Popped up. You come with 12. Only play nine defensively. Strike three call. First strike out of the game for Miss Weisenstein. One, two outs now in the second. Look at each other and say, see? See what you did? A good backstop there. Throw down the second, but not in time. Quick ricochet for catcher Olivia Sowers. Look how quickly it comes back. And almost had a shot at getting Boucher. But doesn't matter. Second strike out of the game for Ruby Weisenstein. After two, we got a good one here. Strike three call. Seven strikeouts in the game. A reminder, you can join Little League this year as it celebrates 50 years. It's to turn professional eventually. Popped up. Not a problem. Okay, it's Jensen to delivers on 3-2. Missed up high. And that's going to allow Iowa to turn the lineup over, assuming that late Mc... Snap throw to first base. And a couple of good catchers in this game with good arms and Olivia Sowers. And check that for Indiana. Back to the pitcher. We play two and a half. This game is good as advertised. Iowa nothing. Indiana nothing. Hitters that she has faced. Right in front of the pitcher. One out. After Riley, her second, or rather Rubenstein, for her second assist of the game. Two outs in the Indiana third inning. Three-two pitch. And Mercer becomes a base runner with two outs here in the third. 
Costello Bidelhausen. Something the coaches emphasize a lot. Strike three call. In and over, Indiana leaves one at third base. Afflin, Clark starring in a rookie season in Indianapolis. Heading to left field and Sam Parkogo on the run. Gets the Back to the pitcher. And still in time. Well, Riley Mercer gets an assist. Want to keep you off balance. Court short. Jansen Locke throw the first. And off the overthrow. Nora Howe reaches base with two outs. At the plate with two outs. Base hit, center field. Station to station baseball as Nora Howe moves to second. So with two outs, Iowa's got it going. Heading to right field, dropping in base hit. Heading home is the runner. She is going to be huge play by right fielder Holly Kolish on a toss to Naomi Rothen and a fourth. And one out in the Indiana fourth. Strikeout number five from Ruby Weisenstein. To this point for either. Slow roller, third base. Two outs. Popped up on the infield. Shortstop will handle Nora Howe. Three up and three down. In a scoreless game. Bumped on the third base line. It is a fair ball. And fielded well at third base by Caroline Bennington. One out. Indiana saves the run, and we remain scoreless. A couple of hops to second base. One, two, three for the new pitcher, Gracie Fiore. He played tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock against the winner of North Dakota, Wisconsin. 3-2 pitch. Base hit center field. Indiana's first hit of the game. And the first time in this game, the leadoff hitter is aboard. Capable of throwing runners out. This hit to center field. That's a base hit. Runner's going to try to go to third and win. Indiana's got him on the corners with nobody out. Trying to stay alive on 0-2. Rounder to second. Indiana leads for nothing. And on the same play, Good heads up baseball by Ruby Stackhouse, who advances the third. So an RBI, round out by Naomi Wathen, who has two now, the two RBIs in this tournament. And it was just hit slowly enough that there was no play. And three balls, two strikes. Another big pitch in the game. Did she go? No, all four. Runners at first and third. Let's see if they set Buchanan down as Annie reaches first base. Let's see if it decides to do the same again. They will. And Iowa will concede it. So runners at second and third. This Indiana crowd very much into it right now. Why not? Face hit left field. It'll score one. It's going to score two. Three, nothing Indiana. Clutch hitting by Audrey Boucher. Plating Louis Stackhouse and Annie Buchanan. And now Indiana has the cushion it's been seeking. Still one out in the inning. Ball is popped up. Oh, 
Kylie Tunnel fields nicely, two outs. And in her right field and dropping in. Inning stays alive. Samantha has her first hit, but now the throw to third. And it bounces in, and both runners are safe. So Audrey Brewster makes it to third. Sam Pryfogel, credit Indiana, running the base as well. Two uncontested stolen bases, and then on the throw in off a hit, and advanced to second base. We go to the top of the sixth. Final inning for Iowa. Runs four hits, one error. Iowa no runs, two hits, and one error. To the shortstop, one out. On the line of Cameron's Jansen. Now Indiana, two outs away. Big 3-2 pitch for Iowa. Could use a walk here or a hit, certainly. Fiore to the plate. And there's your walk with one out. And all day and, and all night. Big 2-1 pitch. Head into right field and dropping base hit. Iowa now with runners at first and second and a tying run comes to the plate. How about this? Of the fair line. And she tries to hunk her in again and protect. Sweet kick. Indiana one out away. Alive. Indiana pitches another shutout. Wins it 3 0 and advances in the winner's bracket to face Ohio. That'll be a showdown here tomorrow night on ESPN Plus. Michigan and Kentucky. Thanks for joining us. So long from Whitestone, Indiana.